oh, hi, Jared Kushner. Yeah, um, who are you? Like, what are your politics? Why were you in Iraq? Or are you like some sort of a diplomat or something? Or how close are you with the Chinese? Do you, do you and George Soros like chit chat on the phone? You are aware of the fact that Americans didn't elect you to be the 45th president of the United States, right? All right, so I guess this is what it feels like to have worked incredibly hard to meme a man into office just to have his win completely commandeered by uh, a crony capitalist and a globalist cuck. But now, for the latest saga involving the Republican president's Democrat son-in-law and, and some context as to why I think Jared Kushner is the fifth column in the White House. First, what we know about our dear Jared. Kushner is one of the three chief big government liberals currently tightening their death grip on the White House. The other two being Gary Cohn and Dina Powell. Now, from rather silent son-in-law in the wings during campaign season, well, Kushner's now moved his whole family, including the regrettably indispensable Ivanka Trump from New York to Washington, where the 35-year-old real estate developer has taken an unpaid role, so sweet, as one of Trump's leading advisors. Now, Kushner was, up until Trump ran for president, a lifelong liberal and a Democratic donor from a Democrat family. Side note, his dad went to jail for fraud once upon a time. Now, the Kushner clan has recently been embroiled in a huge misbegotten investment scandal involving the Chinese and the Kushner's Manhattan skyscraper at 666 Fifth Avenue, Mark of the Beast. But back to the White House. Jared, he now occupies the newly minted White House Office of American Innovation, whose aim is to overhaul government operations using ideas from the business world. Translation, despite rendezvous to the Middle East, officially Kushner is the liaison between the White House and the business world. And that's where things get a little sticky because this just in, Forgetful Jared, well, he didn't disclose $1 billion in loans and investment ties to subprime mortgage crisis creators, Goldman Sachs, and everyone's favorite billionaire behind the civil unrest, the man with a plan to destroy Donald Trump, George Soros himself. It's crazy. So as it turns out, Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor just forgot to disclose his part ownership of a real estate finance startup known as Catter. And it wasn't like this file, this little amount owing was some sort of a rounding error that Kushner could have easily overlooked. No, no way, no how. Kushner was part founder of Catter, where he took loans totaling at least $1 billion from about 20 lenders. And so it's become this classic dilemma of which is worse. The crime of sinister bedfellowship or the cover-up, which is worse. The fact that he owes a billion dollars to folks like George Soros and others who have interest in the White House. Or the fact that he just failed to disclose that massive debt to his new boss. Now, I'd like to say, I'd love to say that we'll be hearing from Kushner sometime soon about this very matter, but that's probably pretty unlikely. Because even in his new role, the guy seems well pretty quiet. I mean, feel free to correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure that the last time that we saw him quoted anywhere was his high praise for some PR rep who worked really closely with Hillary's Huma Abedin. Big deal. Not policy. And the crazy part? This isn't even the first sign that Jared's a threat to Trump's agenda and his integrity. This is just the latest. Reports that the Chinese are bending Trump's ear through their new prince link, Jared. Thanks to a budding romance arranged by friend and former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. The matchmaking, by the way, happened shortly after the election. Now, maybe it's the Kushner-Kissinger alliance that changed Trump's tune from they're killing us on trade to our new friend and ally. And, and even eerier are reports that Kushner was instrumental in the internal administration argument over whether or not to conduct punitive strikes against Bashar al-Assad in response to his supposed use of chemical weapons in Syria. And Trump's top tier insiders, guys like Roger Stone, well, they say that Kushner's been leaking info to the corporate media. Hello, enemies, including the likes of rapidly liberal MSNBC, they're not our friends. And then, this honestly is probably the most heartbreaking of all, at least for me, probably you too, the Kushner-Steve Bannon civil war, which many have credited as one of the reasons why Bannon was demoted in a way, having been removed from his post on the National Security Council. West Wing sources, well, they report that this backstabbing and distrust has become one of the sore spots for Trump's inner circle right now, which, which the president now, he's being forced to pick sides, honestly. And, and so far, well, it looks like family is trumping the nationalistic America first vision that Trump and Bannon once shared. 
And it's actually pretty scary and alarming when you think of it. I mean, Steve Bannon, well, he used to be on radio for like three hours a day before being recruited to the White House. America, they know where Bannon stands. They know what he's about. As for Jared, I'm afraid that we are just beginning to find out. So, a tip from this Canuck to y'all down south. How about you demand that Kushner be investigated by a third party for his failure to disclose and if any funny business shores up whatsoever, demand that this dubious Democrat be booted from the White House. For the Rebel.media, I'm Faith Goldie. If you enjoyed this video, click like below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.